puppy. Say hi. Say hi, Baxter. Say hi to everybody. Say hello. I'm happy. I'm at my house.
are at Ogrecoke Island Coffee Shop having breakfast. Um, we stayed the night last night after the ball game and um, we just waited in a very long line, but I'm thinking that it's gonna be totally worth it when we taste this food and have this coffee. I ordered a Mocha Valencia, which has like orange in it. So I'm really interested in tasting this. Mm, that is really good. I've never had orange flavoring in coffee before. That is really good. What are you eating? The donut. The fresh, fresh donut. He got a fresh donut. I mean, when I say fresh, they were bringing the tray out from the oven and he changed his mind about what he wanted. <laughs> this place is super cute. Let me show you. There's all these parking spots over here. You go in on the other side of the building and then this is like a little seating area outside. They have seating inside normally, but because of COVID it's closed. And then they have a bunch of seating out there as well, which there's people there, so I won't bother them. Story of the crosses. These crosses were cast by the T.A. Loving Construction Company of the United States Navy in 1942. For 41 years, they marked the graves of the four Bedfordshire crewmen. In 1983, the Commonwealth War Graves Commission replaced them with regulation British grave markers. David Esham was president of the newly formed Ocracoke Preservation Society and managed to save the crosses from being destroyed. They were stored under the Pony Island Motel and subsequently under the Ocracoke Preservation Society Museum until 2001. In May of that year, at the request of the United States Coast Guard, the Graveyard of the Atlantic Museum, and the Ocracoke Preservation Society, the Commonwealth War Graves Commission gave permission to display the crosses on site. In May 2005, the people of Ocracoke Island donated the Black Granite Memorial commemorating the loss of HMT Bedfordshire and her crew in action against U-558. This gallant ship and crew were lost protecting her coast during World War II.
<laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs>